Hey guys, it's me, Tomato. I think I'm gonna make this into a regular series. Me flying stuff in Tibet. Or wherever, really. Um, today we're continuing off where we left off in this Marin. Uh, from basically what I'm gonna call aircraft carrier field. And the first thing you should realize is, A, that was not our destination, I had to get down for weather. Because that weather was coming in, I'm not flying through a thunderstorm. My plane was near stalling anyway, the entire way in. The weather has passed. Everything's through a full, right? The first, so now it's time for me to get back up in the air and get moving. Uh, first thing you should realize, this departure is suicidal this way. So I'm gonna turn around. So instead of going up and over that mountain, I'm gonna go through this valley. I'm gonna take it that way. And go out and come over the pass right about here and then turn right there. Seeing how we're supposed to head south-ish anyway, that'll work fine. We'll probably hit a river, and we'll get out of the mountain range today. But uh, for now, we got a taxi to the other end of the field. Because uh, this end just ain't going to cut it. Uh, when we get down there, I'll drop some flaps. And then we'll basically try and do an aircraft carrier takeoff using a Baron, which used way more room than that in the last run. So I'll just taxi it down the runway here. It's not much of a runway, really. I wonder if I could put a CRJ on here. I wonder how that would work. But yeah, this is Tibet. It's really nice. You know, unless it's trying to kill you. So I'm going to go a little bit off the regulation books and uh, get off the runway and then spool up onto the runway. I'm just going to try and go basically to the edge here and give myself a little bit extra room. Because you can take off a 4,000 foot runway, but that's low. I'm going to try and get an extra 500 feet ish in, if that. Drop some flaps. Give it half flaps. And, um, we'll see if this grand idea of mine works. Gotta get lined up. That'll be good enough. I'm just gonna kick it onto the runway. Alright. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Throttle's full. My pressure rising. Props rising. Good, let's go. Come on. Mm, give me more flaps. Oh. <laughs> we fell off the runway. Alright. Let's pick up a bit of speed. Raise those flaps. Flaps confirm up, up. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's get that autopilot tuned. Altitude, hold, hold the nav. Once we get out of this mountain pass and up to around 6,000, which should be enough to clear some mountains for a little while. Things we also want to do: switch over to GPS. So we'll try and find a decent mountain pass to shoot over. I'm thinking right here there should be one. But there's going to be a lot of mountain guesstimation as I try and sort of fly my way out of the mountain range. So 
So we're gonna go around it this way. Is that a village or an airport? It's just a village. And I need to find out if this is a valley, because I need to find some room in this valley to climb. This is full power and it's not giving me too much. I could shoot straight through that pass over there, but I don't think I'll be able to make the climb. Yeah, I'll just fly around this valley. I'll gradually make my way down there. I uh, also got to turn the terrain on. Where is it? There it is. It looks like I could take this valley down this way and come loop back around <clears throat> if I need to. Then that valley would spit me out the end. So yeah, I'll just... For the time being, I'll just kind of follow this valley unless I can get up high enough to cross over. I mean, she's biting into the air pretty good. If I make it over these mountains, I'll go ahead and kick the autopilot on. But uh, for the time being, I really just want to get that crazy takeoff. I think that's enough to get the autopilot involved. Oop, oop, wrong button. I'll give you my game back. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here until I get better.